it's time to learn how to sew. Let's make a stuffed animal. Part two. All right, let's talk about adding some more details. And this time, instead of using felt or, or fabric to make the details, let's actually just use a piece of embroidery floss. Embroidery floss is made up of six little strands of the same kind of thread that we were using initially. So if you have a spool of thread like this, embroidery floss is just a couple extra threads all strung together so you have something thicker to work on. This is great to use if you want to stitch on a mouth like this or you want to give them accents like eyelashes or, or anything like that. I'm going to just thread this really quickly and then let's add some eyebrows just for fun. Since embroidery floss is thicker to start with, I don't necessarily need to double it up like we did with the original thread. So we're just going to give myself a little tail here that will hold it onto the needle while I'm doing any of my sewing. I'm going to tie a knot at the end just like I did before. And that way it won't slip through your fabric as you're working. And then you can just start sewing on some details. Uh, this is called a running stitch because as you're stitching you're coming back each time and going into the stitch before it. Watch the little video, the additional video on this assignment so you can see how to do each of the individual stitches a little more closely. But you can see them here as well. Let's say I want to add some eyebrows. I'm going to go through from the back of the fabric again to hide that knot. And then I will just start sewing where I want the rest of the eyebrow to go. If you want tiny little stitches because you want a tiny little cropped eyebrow that's fine if you want longer stitches that's also fine let's just show them a little bigger so that you can see them from the camera angle if I want to do my running stitch I'm going to plan out where the rest of this is going to go so if this is where my eyebrow is going to live then I know that I need to come up through the bottom of the fabric somewhere along that arc so that when I make the stitch back to connect them, it looks like an eyebrow. So I'm going to go back into the same spot where that first stitch was. And that's how you create a straight line with stitching. This is an optional step. It adds a little bit of detail to the project. You can also choose to make the entire mouth with this project. That's what we did on this, pre on this previous uh, example, but I wanted to show the example on this one as well. So we have a cute little eyebrow here. And next up is how to sew them together. Once you've got the outside exactly the way you like it, let's talk about stitching it together. In the classroom here at school, we are going to fill the insides of our projects with something called fiber fill, which is a very white, squishy, cottony kind of material. And that will give it the little dimension. That's what makes the stuffing for our stuffed animals. If you don't have fiber fill at home, and I also don't have any fiber fill here at Lankerville, I'm going to substitute some fabric scraps. This will work just fine for our project. The first thing you have to do is you have to sew all around the outside of your project. So the best example of the sewing is the running stitch or rather the whip stitch. So you're going to whip around the edges each time and you're going to stitch the two pieces together. Make sure you're catching both the top and the bottom of the fabric as you sew. Before you go all the way around and meet up with the stitches where you started, you have to give yourself enough space so that you can stuff the stuffed animal. So now that I have this little gap here, I'm just going to put in all of my inside materials, whatever you're planning on using. If you like uh, essential oils, you could put a drop or two of essential oil inside the stuffing area, and then your little stuffed animal will smell good. Uh, you don't have to stuff it too full, but you do want it nice and plump. You want a nice plump stuffed animal. I thought I'd do something a little different on this one since it is an octopus just like the first one. In this case, I have stitched all the way around each individual tentacle or leg, and this time I did not do that. I just stitched right down the middle. 
<coughs> this time I stitched right down the middle, you know, just to try something different. And now I'm going to finish by closing this guy up. Give yourself a couple loops through that last stitch so you have a nice tight knot. And then this little stuffed animal is finished. Now you can take a nap in math class. No, don't do that. That would be a bad idea. Yay.